So we know the Sega Genesis outputs 480i, max resolution of 320 by 224 but Fucktard 1985 production says he gets 720p at 1280 by 720 resolution which is high def by using a SCART to HDMI converter we know that HDMI is definitely better than component but if the Genesis or Master Unit can only output 480i at an analog si signal how the fuck do you think you're getting a 720p signal? digital signal Let's see, the Sega produces 480i at a max resolution of 320 by 224. He says he gets 720p at 1280 by 720. Let's see what happens when you come from a lower res to a higher res using pictures. So let's experiment here. Let's say Captain Ass Belunker is at 220 by 224 res and we're using a digital zoom to go from 1280 to 720 res, which is 720p. Does this look like high def to you? Wow, he does look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Now let's see a true high-def picture next to Shaggy. Now I know this is not a true 1280 by 720 pic, but you get the picture. Boy, does my hand look good in high-def. You can see every little crack and crevice. You see, it gets pixelated ugly. Another example will be to record a video at 320 by 224 resolution, then convert it to DVD at 640 by 480 resolution, then put in a DVD player with HDMI hookups at 1080i. Do you think that video would truly be 1080i? New systems such as the Xbox 360 use true digital vi video signal to obtain those high resolution games we love. Older game systems use analog signals. Do you know what the best connection for analog video game signals are? Why it's RGB and component RGB. You see, when you convert from a lower signal to a higher signal, it loses video clarity. For instance, if you come from a composite AV to S-Video, it's not truly S-Video. It sucks. Sega produces RGB that can easily be obtained from a SCART cable. Although it is different RGB than we use here in the States, it converts flawlessly with the CSY2100. It does not try to up-convert it, nor have less video quality. It simply converts over to its native quality and resolution. The SCART to HDMI converter tries to come from RGB, which is lesser quality, and tries to upconvert the signal to 720p. While the quality may be better than AV, RF, and maybe S video, it's not truly 720p, no matter what your TV tells you. So, are you ready for the comparison? Here we have Fucktard 1985 Productions comparing SCART HDMI to RF. P.S. The game music was chosen by him. Well, thank God for Dr. Neo and his Neo Myth card, because I don't have NBA jams. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Numbnuts only gave me two pictures to go by, so I'm going to go ahead and compare NBA Jams Tournament Edition and the Sega logo from the CD. We'll go ahead and get rid of this RF setup, because we know everything's better than RF. I don't even know why he was trying to compare. So I'm imagining since Shaggy says he's running 720p and I'm only running at 480i, he should be kicking my ass with resolution and clarity. But his 720p resolution on Manning seems to be blurry compared to my 480i. You can also see all the pixels on the face of Manning through my setup, while his seems to try and blur them out. Again, looking closer, Manning's eyes are the same color as his face in his HDMI setup, while mine, you can clearly see they are black. Looking on the right ear of Manning in HDMI, you see what looks to be like some type of growth or tumor. If you look at my setup, you can see there is nothing but an ear. It's as if the HDMI converter did not know how to fabricate the color correctly, while mine is perfect. The words look clear on my setup, and the shading on the Phoenix Suns logo look clear on my setup. Now the Sega logo, uh, both of them are equally good as far as the wordings. They both look clear. I'm not taking anything from HDMI, however, I do see that the colors look a bit pastelish to me, while the Sega RGB seems to be like true red, green, and blue. So the next issue Shaggy says is wrong with my setup is too many wires. Well, if you have a Model 1 or a Sega CDX, then you don't need a splitter. You just need a CSY2100, a SCART cable, and audio to hook into the existing stereo ports. Personally, I used a splitter to hook both my Sega Saturn and Sega Genesis to it. 
Another is mine is more expensive. Let's see. Let's go up to HDMI here is $199.95 on sale. This one right here, $154.52. This CSY 2100 here is $129.50. And this lucky bastard got it for £10, which is approximately about $30. In conclusion, I believe both are great setups with the RGB to component having a slight advantage, being that you're drawing true RGB analog signal. With the RGB to HDMI setup, you get to push both audio and video through one HDMI cord. You still get a fairly clean signal that trumps AV, RF, and maybe S video. But the problem I'm seeing with this setup is you're having to convert the Sega's natural analog signal and upconvert it to 720p, which is high def. This will not give you a true high def signal, because Sega does not have this. But if you can't get an RGB to component set up, then this is a still a good route. Well again, thanks for watching my video. Goodbye.